Hey Capricorn, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be getting a timeless reading on abundance coming in. For some of you guys that is going to look financial, and for some of you guys that's going to take on the look of relationships, possibly love, romantic love for some of you. So we're going to start with Oracle and then we'll move on to Tarot. If this is your first time at my channel, I like to do this thing where I just pray for y'all and send you my good juju. I invite you just to say hi or even leave an emoji in the uh, comment section. That way I've got something that represents your energy that I can focus on and I encourage everybody to do that for each other. It's just so awesome when you guys pop up in the comment section and you're like, I'm sending you all love. I just think it's the coolest way to rebel these days, right? I always say it, but there's so much negativity. There's so much dark crap out there and you want to rebel. Just love mofos up. Just love people up. All right, so for my Capricorns, we've already pre-shuffled with you in mind, and we're taking only the cards that fly out for you. We let the tarot do all the talking. I'm just the interpreter. Keep my ego out of it. So Capricorns, what abundance needs to come towards Capricorns right now? What messages about abundance is coming towards Capricorn? We have two that flew out. So this is kind of a cool one. Take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk, Capricorn, and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. And then next we have, you will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless this union. And then our final message before we get into tarot is hold the highest vision for your life. You now possess the ability to move past any hurdles. <sighs> I love it. This is going to be really interesting to see what cards fly out for you. There's a lot of faith packed in those oracle cards, isn't there? Take a divinely guided chance, hold the highest vision for your life, and having faith that you will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. It feels like something is rolling up on you. Um, good time to really pay close attention to your communications, to the people coming into your life, the people that are possibly going out too, and let them go. There might be just a natural flow to that and paying attention to it because it seems like you definitely have these good energies working towards your benefit. Just listen. That's all you have to do. So tarot, guidance, the abundance coming into Capricorn's life. What does Capricorn need to know? If they fly out in reverse, then we take them that way. And while I'm doing this, if you get a chance, please hit that like button. I know it's close to your fingertips. Consider subscribing if you think that this will be helpful for you in the future. All right, you guys. You know, the funny thing about tarot, because I'm a big tarot fan as well, of many readers, but I pay attention to when they're all saying the same thing. Y'all, I know you have a bunch of tarot readers that you enjoy watching, just like myself. Have you found that when we're all saying the same thing, it always happens? It's weird. With that being said, with the reading that I'm about to do, you know, listen to yourself. Don't give tarot all your power. Only take what resonates. So first of all, we have the wheel with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles could most certainly be representing you in this reading. Um, we'll find out a little bit more on that for a moment. This is talking about massive change, um, and it could be very positive change in particular for this Queen of Pentacles because she came out, she, he, they, it gender is not attached to Queen of Pentacles, but it's an energy came out with the Wheel of Fortune and Clarity. We have this, speaking of clarity, we have this huge aha moment. Now, the aces of the tarot deck are like big gifts in the universe. Like this is the, that, those little blessings, sometimes really big blessings. Those are the moments where you're just like, wow, this just landed in my lap. I'm really grateful. Um, in particular, the Ace of Swords is about information, clarity, realization. So this can land in your lap via a conversation. It can land in your lap via just that epiphany you have one day shampooing your hair, you know. And we'll unpack that in a moment. Next, we have Two of Pentacles. This is literally that feeling of reprioritizing. You may be making last-minute plans, reprioritizing, scheduling things. Um, 
It could also be talking about decision making and your process in doing so. We have the King of Wands. This is somebody in your midst. This is um, an energy that is very, um, they're a, a visionary. They might have really awesome ideas. They like to act on those ideas. They're confident, they're experienced. Um, and then we have the Page of Pentacles, excuse me, yes, the Page of Pentacles. Uh, Page of Pentacles is a really interesting one because it talks about the, the, um, the importance of being willing to be curious and to learn and to get over a learning curve of some sort. So you're being called right now in the realm of abundance to be willing to grow in an area. So now let's unpack all of these, okay? Starting with our Queen of Pentacles here and the change that is happening with the wheel. The wheel turns, nothing stays the same for very long. With a new deck, One more, please. Thank you. Okay. I'll tell you what's changing. You're going to know pretty soon if it's your reading. <laughs> there is an energy here that came out in context to the Queen of Pentacles. An individual who can be nurturing, grounded, practical. There's an energy that is quite the opposite. It can be emotionally bowling or unpredictable. It can be kind of, uh, there can be poor coping skills attached to this energy. Um, it doesn't mean that they, this energy is always like that. And you might be wondering why I'm saying this under energy. For some of you guys, this represents you. For a lot of you guys, this is actually another person in your life. But this is just when we are upside down. This person is upside down for whatever reason in their emotions and they're the toxic version of themselves. So what I love is that the change that is happening is a beautiful one. This is about reciprocity. This is about prosperity. This is about moving forward with a bigger picture in mind of stability and happiness and family and legacy, inheritance, all those things that require time and focus and intention and integrity. That is this change that you are going towards Capricorn. Now, there's a lot of information and a lot of storyline in between point A and point B, but I want to just leave you with that. We can unpack it further. I can tell that we're going to do it extended. I love to do the extended. Not every reading is an extended, but if you do want to follow me at the very end of this, we're going to be unpacking this further and getting advice. The link will be in the description box below. Going back to your reading, we're going to unpack now this epiphany, this realization that we were talking about. So please make it clear, Spirit, with this Ace of Swords, what do my Capricorns need to know about abundance, right? This is our theme of abundance. So you're going towards abundance in the sense so far of something is righting itself. Look at this. You got two tens, baby. Two of the best tens. These are the best tens. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. The changes that are happening in your life right now are really uh, long lasting and very positive. I'm so happy to report that to you. <laughs> but it's this realization, right? It's all, it, there's like, there's knowledge dropping on your lap that is going to push you towards abundance and likewise, you know, opposite, uh, like attracts like. So, what is it? Two of Wands, making, developing a whole new plan, developing new uh, skills for some of you guys, getting ready to move forward. Some of you guys are literally getting ready to move. Um, anything else about this? Give us some more storyline, please. Uh, from my Capricorns, more storyline. It's been a while. You probably waited for this. There's been something that you needed perspective on, and it was required to make a certain sacrifice for. This is really important perspective. And then we have Knight of Pentacles again, another slow card. So it's like it's taken its sweet time, Capricorn. Uh, you've got two cards to confirm that. This is about value. You do have a lot of Pentacles. So I do feel that there is, in your reading, there is a sense of there's a relationship here that's on the periphery and it's around being valued and all that. But it, it's too vague um, right now to go further into depth with that. And that will change in your reading possibly. But right now it's about stabilizing you, 
yourself, your environment, because you are aiming your towards like literal money and investments and safety and stability and long-term wealth. Um, so that so far is the energy of your reading. Um, with the changed card of the wheel right here turning and this beautiful reciprocity and this abundance, this toxic energy of the king of, of cups upside down, this emotional person that feels like on a roller coaster and a little unpredictable and has poor coping skills. This is either you or somebody else, but it's being affected. It has been affected by stability and finances in the past, and that's changing. That's what it feels like, just to be clear. So this realization, there's a realization that you're making and a, uh, that is leading you to making new plans, happiness. And this is feeling loved and supported too. And that's what I mean by like, there's, a, there's relationships on the periphery of this reading, but at the heart, is definitely literal abundance with money and finances. But there's this is about getting a different perspective and there's a, there's sacrifice and patience in doing so. Um, two pentacles for my Capricorns. Huh. The Wheel of Fortune at the very bottom. I think that you have had a partnership, you've experienced a partnership that had a financial impact on you that was where you were experiencing, uh, gosh, it would be all so great if the person, this person could emotionally grow up a little bit more because there's a, an emotionally immature um, energy with this partnership. Um, anything else? And so what it's done is it's thrown things out of balance, right? It's thrown this like, okay, reprioritizing things um, because we need to make space for this energy. But you're having victory over it, six of wands. Can't make this up. I really feel that like things are going well. They're going to be going well. I wanna say that you guys have been through some crap um, lately. But this is all looking very positive, Ace of Cups. This is understanding. I do feel like a partnership is is definitely, especially with Take It Divinely uh, Guided Chance on a partnership. Um, excuse me. Let, excuse me. That is this one. You will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Excuse me. Luck and love, longevity. Bless this union. And all those tens um, are talking about longevity. Yeah. We have Ace of Cups here. So this is a new relationship coming through. This is being seen. This is being, now for some of you guys, it just feels like it's new because the person you've been working with is somehow getting uh, rebalanced uh, around their stability emotionally. It's like <laughs> their emotions are as stable as their bank account. So, um, and then others of you are getting into a brand new partnership. Um, and so it is going to be like, you're going to be reprioritizing your energies, your time, your schedule. We have King of Wands here. Who is this King of Wands? I have a feeling that for many of you, it's that partnership to clarify by the Knight of Wands. They're going to be coming towards you with their energies. They are visionary. They're very confident. They feel, um, let me see before I say anything else. What the hell is that? Ace of Wands. You got, <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, so you might be, I think they have no doubts. They know what they want. They're like, this is what we're going to do. This is what I want. And here's a project. Here's an idea. And we're let's go for it. And let's make plans. And there's almost a sense in your reading of you being like, whoa, with your practical Capricorn. Um, okay, whoa, whoa. We just need to slow down a little bit. Um, I, like, is this pr a practical approach? Uh, it's trying to find that balance because the the intensity coming towards you, it's, it's so fiery. It's all wands. It's king of wands. We clarify the knight of wands. And in the middle, an ace of wands, which is new ideas, passions, exci excited and uh, motivated. But you are getting in clarity this, yeah, okay, one sec, you know, uh, let's keep this all in balance. Let's not jump the gun. Um, in the middle of all these, what I have not mentioned to you yet is that there is the devil and the devil now represents Capricorn energy. So this is where you have to be discerning with my reading because 
this can be just Capricorn energy coming through being like, hey, it's balancing all that excitement coming towards you with practicality and like, cool, let's ha let's find a system here that works for us to climb this ladder together. And, and that's the two of pentacles, balancing things out, balancing these energies. The other possibility is that there's a sense of, um, and you'll know, a sense of um, bondage or stuckness. And that is an illusion. You can always break free of the devil who is um, bonding you with, inside a, a, a pattern, a behavior that doesn't serve you or an addiction. Just want to throw that out there. Finally, we've got the Knight of, excuse me, the Page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles for my Capricorns? I'm going to tell you a little bit about this page and then we're going to get a bigger picture. We're going to wrap it up. Um, tying them all together. And then I'm going to invite you over to the extended reading where we're going to unpack it further with questions. I think there's a conversation here that changes things. And I think it enlightens you a little bit, like it um, uh, enlightens you to a different perspective. And it builds hope and optimism towards this abundance coming towards you. And when this happens, that's, there's like a trans, uh, there's a transformation. I feel like when I was saying earlier that there's relationships on the periphery, it's like you have major potential coming in, this abundance roaring in, but the silent actor here is communication within a partnership. So it's coming towards you with the Knight of Swords and all you have to do, and I'm just saying this, is the, the energy of the tarot, is consider taking on the energy of the Page of Pentacles when this conversation comes roaring at you. There's something somebody wants to get off their chest. This doesn't even have to be an emotional conversation. It could be like, hey, this, 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 like almost informational at the, at the beginning. And of course it has emotional ram ramifications. That's just like, but I encourage you to consider. See how careful I'm being? Being the Page of Pentacles, being open and um, considering uh, growth in this moment, considering change, transformation in this moment. And that's like a big woo-woo way of saying, like, consider a perspective. Uh, now, you might not approach that perspective the same way as this individual. You would do it your own way. In fact, I think you will. But there's something special about this communication that is going to happen. And so if you can just be in that open place, of um, learning, the Page of Pentacles is all about learning, then there's this huge bridge of hope and optimism that is created between you and abundance. All right, so I'll leave it there. I hope that was helpful. If I leave you uh, here at the end of the reading, thank you so much for stopping by. I adore all of you. Consider liking and subscribing and I'll have your next readings, your September readings out soon. And if not, hit that link below and follow me over to the extended. It's about the price of a cup of coffee. Mwah!